Um, I'm Chirag Patel, and I won top poster at Research Expo, and my technology is high contact force RFMM switches. So the, the switch is for routing electrical signals um, in very, let's say, very expensive uh, systems, uh, and to route them reliably and with um, high integrity. So some of the examples of such systems are medical equipment, like perhaps MRIs, uh, defense applications like satellite communications, uh, electronic instrumentation like spectrum analyzers. So uh, it's, it's almost like it's so simple, it's almost like too simple to be true, right? It's a switch that just opens and closes. Uh, so it, it's, it's, almost, it's as like a light switch, uh, but we drive it with a voltage instead of actually using our finger to flip it. Let's say this is one, one piece of metal, and then this is another piece of metal, and then let's say there's another piece of metal here, right? So I'll apply a voltage between this metal and this metal, and that will move the switch to touch this metal. And so it, it makes a contact or it breaks a contact. And, and it's, it's basically what a transistor is. It's basically what vacuum tubes were. Um, and, and it's what relays are. So the big, the big picture here is ultimately, right now what we do is we put large conventional electromagnetic relays that I'm sure everyone is familiar with in these devices. And these devices are typically rated to only 1 million, 10 million cycles, whereas for, with this technology, it's, we can easily hit 100 million, 200 million, maybe billions, um, with, with not that much of effort. And the second thing is, is because they're smaller, we, can, we get better frequency performance. We also have weight, um, size and weight gains. Uh, I mean, like a, a switch in my technology uh, weighs nothing but a conventional relay could be quite heavy and for example in a satellite system where it's very expensive to put something in space this uh, can yield very uh, huge cost savings. I think it's useful to come to Research Expo because you get to see all different things that are going on basically and for as a student or as an industry member or as anyone I mean you just get to see like sort of this is what's happening now. One of the judges um, from bioengineering was asked a question like can I, could you, what would happen if you put your switch in water? And then I thought about it and I answered the question, but then I asked him, like, why, um, like, would you want to do that even? He said, well, that would be really useful for us in, in bioengineering, right? So, like, I was kind of surprised because I had no idea that that would be something that anyone would ever want, you know, like, um, and he was saying, like, that would be so useful that, like, you know, we would want to, like, hire you tomorrow if, if you could, if this thing worked in, in water. So then, like, that's, uh, I took down his name and I'll talk to my advisor about um, him and I mean I didn't get to talk to him that much about it so I don't know what his application was in mind but I mean that could potentially start a dialogue and, and you know could potentially open up a new area for RFMEMS you know so.